darling dreamers welcome to throne talks my name is nilsa i'm the head fairy in charge around here aka h-a-i-c and fairy godmother this reading is for entertainment purposes only we're gonna spray the fairy tale lullaby spray because we're doing a spirit baby reading i'm just gonna like condition you guys every time you see me spraying you're like oh babies baby messages oh yes baby messages this is available in my etsy shop mm. all right and then this little cutie is from marie dale designs on etsy it's a phone stand but i use it for cards because it's perfect for cards i'm telling you i'm telling you all right we're using the 90s tarot Joyful inspiration messages, and this is called Vi a French Vintage Stamp Love Oracle by my beautiful friend Kelly Sorrow. What should we start with? We're gonna start with this. No, actually, I'm here to start. Actually, start with the love messages. All right. So, mommy and daddy, what do you need to know? Here we go. Woo! These two are sliding out right here. I just keep hearing, I want you to know. I think it's a, a Kelly Clarkson song. <laughs> keep hearing that. Bottom of the deck is new chapter. <laughs> I'm like smirking because it's going to come through later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New chapter of your fairy tale. All right. Mm, yes. First, we have synchronicity and signs aligning your desire. But, Mommy, what we want you to know, something is coming in the autumn. Something very big is coming in the autumn for you. <gasps> so exciting. We're just going to push the beep beep. Not right there. Okay. Winds of change. Mm, yep. Uh, Mom, sometimes the butterflies are just letting you know something is changing. You are changing. Victory is coming. And speaking of butterflies, boom, wings of love. Love is flying in. Victory is flying in for you. If you don't believe me, believe the cards. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, God, those are, they want you to know right away. Like, hey. Okay, so what's so funny, too, about the trophy, um, besides the fact that I use it for my Oscars. Oh, you can see Duchess's Barbie Dream House. We have one of those big cat condos, and it's pink obviously. And um, I call it her Barbie dream house. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she's in her Barbie dream house. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the trophy. So um, I saw this like meme a long time ago that says children, you mean fuck trophies? And I'm like, oh my God, it is. It's like this big reward for having sex. It's so funny. You made a person. You are meta human, superhuman. You made a person it's still like i don't know i feel like um first of all we have a virgo here nine of pentacles september and it also means the uh, bling bling ching ching money's coming in money is coming in income remember guys income all right we have three of swords somebody is really really sad is probably the dad Wheel of Fortune, things will change in October. I've been chanting that for a while now. Knight of Cups, somebody's coming in. Seven of Wands, somebody else is coming in. And <clears throat> um, Whatever silence, there's a big silence or I keep hearing inconsistency. Inconsistency, that will be broken in July. So between July, I feel like whatever obstacle that is is going to wrap up and then we're going to get into um october for a lot of either weddings baby showers conceptions okay we have one here um the emperor yeah here's the daddy yeah they're like mm -hmm. Some of them could be, a, I'm going to go by the pictures too for a second, channel some messages that might mean something to you. We have the name Dawson, it's coming up more so than Dawson's Creek. Um, somebody here is really good at math. Somebody here is really good at singing. Um, somebody here grew up in a city, but you don't live in the city now. Or the dad grew up in a city, doesn't live in the city now. 
and obviously the emperor. So and some of you might be a teacher because that's the professor. Let me drink water. I've been doing a lot of readings. I just feel in the throne talk and it's like I talk a lot. If you couldn't tell. Baby, 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 baby. Three of Pentacles. Somebody here has um, three spirit babies. And we have seven of Pentacles. 37 is a beautiful angel number. Uh, we have Goosebumps. You uh, So, like, with Goosebumps, that's usually, you know, about their, like, little scary stories, for those who don't know. <sighs> scary stories for children. But listen. Um you still give this person goosebumps. If you're in separation, or even if you're together, I'm hearing, you still give them goosebumps. They want you to know dad still gets really nervous around you, gets butterflies in his stomach. And we have Martin here with Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Um, it's getting something you've been waiting for. It's seeing fruit on the tree. It's seeing progress. So July 7th, I mean, not sorry, not July 7th. Um, July 3rd and 4th are coming through with something really important. And we have Be Kind Rewind. So I feel like that's somebody from your past. All the memories still give you... All, I don't know if you want to see the cards. All the memories still give you goosebumps. <gasps> don't fall on the floor. Oh, they fell. Where's Duchess? Hold on. Oh, she came up to smell them like, Why don't you give that to me? Thanks, Mommy. You're welcome, Duchess. You're welcome, baby. My in. Damn, Gina. My in. There we go. There we go. Be kind of one. Okay. And this is by Divine Moon Empress on Etsy. This is the that '90s tarot. That's so. Yeah, that's so 90s. Not to be confused with that. That's so fetch tarot. Pop those back because that's like 50. We have two though. All right. Uh, we have courage on um, the cowardly dog. And we have 10 of cups. Um, it's almost like somebody here is afraid they're not going to be happy. And... I kind of feel like that's the dad, like, almost afraid of happiness because now you have so much to lose. You know, some sometimes people see, you know, somebody that, that they love and they're with somebody that's, like, downgraded, but it's, it's less to lose. It's like, who cares? But with somebody great, you don't really want to lose them. This up a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Putting my armrest up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. What else do you want them to know? Oh, full house and strength and nine of wands. This is wonderful. So August and September, yeah, I'm telling you, it's like July, August, it's consecutive, my loves, it's consecutive, we have July, August, September, October. Last year, I kept channeling that the year started in October, like the chain of events or like um, some kind of anniversary, and I was saying, I feel like 2021 starting in October, not January, I just kept channeling that, and October's coming through again. Um, Sam Hine, right? So I feel like that energy, that time frame is again going to be important to wrapping up and maybe that's why that was coming through is something starting that October and then with the world card it's going to end that October. And what I mean by end is saying it's going to conclude. It's going to like wrap up the way it's supposed to. If you are in separation, you're going to be in reunion. If you've been together but didn't have a house or a baby, you're going to start getting the ball rolling consecutively every those those little months. Things are, um, it's like a snowball rolling down a hill, getting bigger. More success. The Seven of Pentacles. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Right? And right here, oh my God, my ears ringing. Right here it says never give up. 
Goonies never say die. Never surrender. Full house, king of cups. You guys are going to get a house or live together. You're going to rent one. You're getting more room. The last spirit baby reading I did for y'all, I channel that you need bigger things. Like, oh, if you have a... Um, if you have a full-size bed, you need a queen size. If you need a queen, upgrade. So make room, make room, make room. <clears throat> the strength card, beautiful, the strength card. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I had COVID, and people are probably like, well, didn't you see that coming, sweetie? Uh, yeah, we kept getting the tower. Well, my husband kept getting the tower, five of cups, um, three of swords, like all of this, all this suffering. I kept pulling the strength and temperance the strength and temperance like because every time i get a new tarot deck which is like a few times a week um <laughs> every time i get a new one I, you know i break it in get my messages and sometimes i get one for my husband and they're all the same and, and and we have been channeling it since the last year i'm like something we thought maybe it'd be like a miscarriage or, or somebody passing on we're like there's something some kind of big suffering coming and it just kept showing up in all the cards. And then now what's showing up for my husband is, um, and he's doing well, he didn't die, he almost did though, is five of cups reversed with, you know, like eight of cups, like walking away from that suffering, like that period is over. You know? We have four of pentacles. I'm hearing conserve, um, conserve your information. Yup, mm-hmm. Four of pentacles, this is, this is like, holding on to something and then the moon is about keeping something hidden hold on to some of your um your money and look at the mom mom the mom from rugrats remember she was very successful she was a leader very queen of wands and i want to let you know that i saw this thing that says there's two rules in business rule number one never reveal everything you know and then it shows uh, rule number two, and it's, there's nothing there because some things, secrets to success, you keep to yourself. You know, there's um, there's a few different, you know, business ideas where you um, or strategies where they give the free information, but they make money on things like streaming, like either just doing the videos on YouTube or um, getting paid to promote because now you have all these followers with all the free content you get. And then there's those that, um, the, you know, they just, they only charge for it. So you get a little bit of content, but if you want like the big classes and coaching, you, you know, you pay for it. We just got three swords in a row. The last, one of the last love readings I did, all um, air signs. It was, they just kept coming out and Part of it could be um, Gemini season for you. The end of, well, like, yeah. That's, it's going to be heavy on communication. I'm hearing a, um, somebody's been seeing a lot of crows. So we have Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. We have Sabrina the Teenage Witch. This is somebody here uh, manifesting in communication. I feel like your babies play with your, I don't know if you can see it, I feel like your babies play with your cats a lot. Right, Duchess? You play with the little babies. And then we have the craft here, Ten of Swords, but I, I feel like some of you, your media, that are getting into medium energies, uh, gifts. I'm hearing Realm Crossing again with the veil being really thin. Hold on, Duchess wants to leave. With the veil being really thin around Samhain, uh, things are going to shift. Some of your gifts are going to be stronger. So your communications with your babies, even if you're, um, even if somebody is pregnant, you can still communicate with the babies. And then we have the mask here, Seven of Swords. The mask is coming down. Green is also jealousy. It's heart chakra for some, but that's not what I'm picking up. I'm picking up jealousy. And we have the Hierophant, and the hermit. Some people are going to be jealous that now new things are coming up in your contract. And what that means is now, like I said, some people buying a house, um, getting into union. There's going to be a lot of je jealous energies. So it's saying keep some of your good news. Oh, my little slipper fell. Keep some of your good news to yourself. That's really, really important. Here we have Master Splinter and Pizza. 
But I'm really picking up the rat, though. Be careful. You never know who's jealous. I mean, some people, their own families are jealous. And we have, back to September, well, I'm pretty sure the hermit card is Virgo. Back to se September, we have the hermit. So, again, my grandma used to say, like, never introduce your man, never introduce your man to your friends. And I feel like that's, I don't know. Here's your, we have six of cups and look at the bee, bees of rugrats, little rugrats. We have Tommy, Tommy, Chucky, and Angelica. I love Angelica. Anyway, so we have, yes, we have the chariot. We have the tower. We have temperance and the sun. A big tower is coming, but here's the July. Okay. Um, a big tower is coming. Could be July 16th because we have the 16 right next to it. I'm hearing, Mommy, I'm really good at puzzles. So there's a there's somebody here, yeah, especially with the twister here next to it. Somebody here is really, really good at uh, Rubik's Cubes. I'm seeing somebody doing a Rubik's Cube. But we have the Magic School Bus. Um, some of you, if you already have kids, it might be just starting school. And maybe um, that's when this happens, when school starts back up for some of you in August, September. A tower is coming around then. But don't worry about it. It will twist into fate in your favor they're saying mommy all the dots are connecting all the dots are connecting okay and we have look at the sun <laughs> lion king i love lion king i love it can you feel the love tonight yes you do you feel it uh, we have rafiki actually i just saw my picture um i have my phone is set up where it it shows memories of pictures and it showed me hugging Rafiki. And I thought about that. And I was like, I feel like that's a sign for somebody. And I don't know. Here's the card. Rafiki. And thank you, Jen, for giving me a Disney card. You are the MVP. I was about to say somebody's birthday is the 19th. Uh, hi. Hello. Mine's the 19th. Okay. I have to tell you something like super creepy. Okay. Um, my, my stepdad sent me this message saying, was this you? And it's a brick it's it's brick with writing on it like i guess at this restaurant everyone writes on the brick wall it says nilsa and steve 9 2014 i don't know any steves never dated a steve never hooked up with a steve nothing and at the time i was with my husband so not only and it, this was a town next to a town i used to live in with with my ex-fiance and i was like how many Nilsas could there be in that area? But here's the creepy part. 919 is my birthday. So not only was it my name, it was also my birthday. Like, what the heck? Anyway, my point is, that was creepy, but I was like, maybe it's a sign for somebody else that I should deliver. Um, so if your um, divine counterpart's name is Steve or James, because James was written right under it, that's a huge sign for you. You Or even if that's what you wanted to name your baby. Mm-hmm. Mm. now we're getting oh guys i love this deck not a lot of people know about it if you love fairies fairy tales anything whimsical please add this deck to your collection i'm pretty sure it's on amazon it's called joyful inspirations it's not on the back but it's joyful inspirations and it looks like like um it looks like fine art but it, it's kind of fairy tale ish like cute little kids and and like little fairies and rainbows. It's so enchanting, I guess is the word. I'm telling you, you. I love, 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 love this deck. I love this deck. Very hard card stack. You gotta like break it in. I don't remember how much it costs. Probably like 15 bucks or something. Um, a, a song I channeled the other day I want to share with you now they're telling me to share with you now is by Lady Antebellum it's called Just a Kiss but the part that I kept hearing on loop was but you'll be in my dreams tonight tonight and I feel like it was saying like even though and this is for those I really feel like this is for some of you who never kissed your the person that you're going to have kids with. You've 
and then I feel like it's a really strong message and they're like you know they wanted me to tell you now sometimes they save messages for later and this is, I know I keep shuffling we're good to go <sighs> I'm hearing wind chime yeah I'm hearing somebody's um, wind chimes is a really important message like somebody heard them recently and the baby's saying yeah I'm trying to get your attention I'm nearby and if you haven't heard them, you might hear them after this reading. Aw, you know, I was just singing, you'll be in my dreams. It says, happy dreams. Dreams take you to special places you cannot visit during the day. And there's three babies here. I don't know if you can see the card. There's three babies there uh, sleeping. This says, join the party. Don't wait too long to join in on the fun. The moment is now. Um, some of you are going to conceive in air season, which is Gemini. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that is like, I think the beginning of June, end of May, beginning of June. Oh, here we have fairy secrets. When you need someone to share your secrets with, just tell the fairies. That's everybody in the fae hive. So we all got your six. We're here. All right. We're here. Now we have this says, it's your song. <gasps> the first card was, okay. The first card out was the dreams. And I'm saying that, so the song is called Just a Kiss. Lady Antebellum, Just a Kiss. And this says, it's your song. <gasps> it's important for you to be yourself and it will always make you feel happier. But the biggest message is they're saying, yes, that's for you. That maybe it's for everybody watching. I need some water. Mm -hmm. Grandmother Night, when you're happy in your dreams, there it is again, you will wake with a smile. Um, so they're saying, ask to dream, say, baby, show me, show me your future life. Um, I do that sometimes from stress. I'm, I'll say to them, like, uh, show me the future. And I'll just like have this huge guppy grin on my face as I'm, you know, seeing them. And I'm reading to them cute things. I had a dream where um, my little baby, he wasn't even, like, talking. He had his little bubble in his mouth, and he had this little pastel, like, Star Wars blanket. And then he just, like, walks up to me, and he just hands me the book because he knew I was going to – he didn't have to say anything. He knew I was going to read it. And the book was a Thomas the Tank Engine. And so I was saying, you know, I think I can. I think I can, which I love that book because it, like, helps with the law of attraction, saying, hey, whether you think you can or you can't, Either way, you're right. So this card um, is grandmother, grandmother night. So there, are a lot of them say, "Hey, what?" Two messages. One, I visit, I visit grandma sometimes because I'm one of her guardians, right? Like I know my um, my my girliest glam daughter, because what one's really like, she's still girly, but she's like probably play basketball like she can't sit still she's like me her hands always have to be doing something so she'll probably play you know play with cards and bowling and and all the all those things uh what was i saying she'll probably go to uconn too which is funny because she'll grow up here oh yeah yeah so she's with my mom uh she's not with my mom uh the girly ones with my mom all the time and some of you the grandmother had passed on and so they're both with you My ear is hurting a little bit on this side. Okay, so they're telling me that the grandmother that passed on used to pinch your ear like when you were bad. They would they would pinch your ear and pull it like that. That's I'm really feeling like someone's pulling my ear right now. It hurts. Um, but yeah, that's what they just showed me. They said sorry. They said sorry. They're reflecting. Ooh, okay, so this this card says, gazing at the moon, it has a pegasus. For those of you who don't know what a pegasus is, if you've seen that movie Hercules, it's the horse that, the winged horse. Oh my gosh, I love pegasuses. Is that a word? And I also love um, carousel horses. So if you guys ever see either of those, I hope you think of Nilsa. <laughs> okay, so I love this. Gazing at the moon, when you look up into your vast heavens, you discover that joy is also limitless. 
But what's here, what's showing is a bunch of little like chipmunks, Chippendale, squirrels, mice, bunnies. So I feel like this is seeing all the little woodland creatures, just like in, um, oops, come here, come here, come here. Just like in that movie, Snow White. They come up to you, they're attracted to you because they see the baby and the baby spirit. Gardening angel, bunnies again, bunnies. Your life is like a garden that you're planting with love. Now, um, you have to do your affirmations every day. Just like some plants need watering all the time. Not all the time, sorry. Watering every day. And then there's some plants you only need to water it once a week. And I feel like that's an important message. Like, some of you, you know, you do your affirmations every day, but don't make it codependently a ritual where you're like, um, you feel like if you don't do it, you're going to, you know, um, you could say thank you. Like, thank you that I'm, I'm fertile. Thank you that I have a beautiful family. Thank you that my, um, you know, my pregnancy goes healthy, full term. There's not that much pain. Everything's healthy. Um, my mornings are easy. My nights are easy. Saying affirmations like that. So if you are pregnant right now watching, um, and you have like bad morning sickness or something, try and say things, um, to help you feel better. Like when I when I was sick, I kept saying my lungs are clear. I breathe easily, right? I, I would just say that and it helped me so much because uh, your body listens to your brain, right? So say like my stomach is, is, so, is so gentle. Everything I eat is fine. I'm fine. You know, things like that. It should help with the hormones. So we have, oh, <laughs> Saturn is important for somebody. I'm hearing Saturn return. I don't know what that means. Saturn return. Um, and the ship from Peter Pan flying in the sky, going to Neverland. So uh, I have another anecdote for you. My mom said somebody had like fraudulently stolen money or something and they got it fixed. But she said they were from the Neverlands <laughs> instead of Netherlands. So I sent her like this Peter Pan thing saying off off to Neverland. I don't think she got the joke, but you do. You get it. <laughs> okay, so this says add a little starlight to your dreams and the night will transport you to your next adventure. I don't know what that means, but I think the, the ship is the most important part. The ship. <clears throat> Chippendales Rescue Rangers. I'm picking up that somebody here already has a daughter because I keep hearing my sister, my sister that I play with. Somebody here, and this says play your part. Mm -hmm. Add your energy to the mix and see what happens. Somebody here, um, earlier I said somebody has a cat that they're playing with. Somebody here has a daughter that they're playing with. Oh, carousel. Ah, oh, yes, babies. Happy choices. Life is so, is so full of wonderful choices. So I love this card because it has a carousel, which I love in Magic Kingdom. Um, a few things about that for those of you that, that are local here too, watching and go to Disney. One of the horses is uh, Prince Philip's horse. And I think it has like his, his initials on it or something. But that's the only one that belongs to a prince that's on the carousel. And, and I love all the music it plays. But there's three little children. There's a boy and two girls, like my spirit babies. So this card in particular is like my favorite. Next we have sweet laughter. Laughter comes wrapped in many packages. And they're like, mommy, oh my God, I love making you laugh. So they do, they do little things to make you laugh. Um, I keep hearing tilted, tilted. So there's something, I don't know if there's something that keeps tilting in your house. It's like a picture or a magnet. That's them doing it. I'm telling you, they play so many pranks trying to get your attention because they're funny and they're, they're cute about it. And we have celebrate the day. I'm, I'm really picking up a refrigerator magnet because, um, again, there, so there's cake here and tea, but that's like you go into the kitchen. They're showing me the kitchen. Enjoy each day and look for a reason to celebrate. Um, yeah, somebody has like a kitchen magnet or there's something that they keep... They just keep tilting it. It's really funny. It could even be, no, it's it, they're showing it's something that's either hanging or posted. 
And then we have friendship shines on. Let your cup overflow with the pleasures of friendship. Um, so this person here is definitely a tea drinker. The one with like the magnet or the picture. Definitely a tea drinker. We got two tea cards in a row. And then we have daffodil elf. The elves will help guide you. Just ask for their help. So um, daffodil flowers are going to be a sign for one of you. And then we have Things Are Looking Up, which is a great song by Safety Suit. Um, and he's saying, you know, things are really looking up. Oh, God, I don't know the words. They slipped my mind. Um, it's just called Things Are Looking Up by Safety Suit. It's a band, an old band. Um, one of my favorites. So we have this little, this little mouse, this little Mickey Mouse. Things are looking up. Whatever you try to do, you will find your own success and joy. Uh, some uh, so this mouse here is holding all these balloons at once so they can fly, right? And I, I what I really feel is some of you are, have all these ideas because I'm seeing again with the air sign somebody has all these um, ideas floating in above their head, and some of them feel like they're spinning plates. That's where a lot of the anxiety had come from. But they're saying, no, mom, you have all these ideas that are going to make you so much money. Listen, they're saying, listen to them, listen to them. Oh, thanks. You just want to make money so you can live in Golden Oak. All right, fly with the fairies. Today is a brand new chance for you to feel bright and eager about life. So when I feel like it's important to them. Stop. I feel like it's important to them that you wake up, you know, on the bright side, like with a positive attitude, I guess. Let's ask for some uh, messages from my babies, what they want you to know. They're probably friends with some of your babies. I know a lot of um, people I connect with, like all our friends are. Okay, caravan to sleepy town. Life can bring you lots of happy choices when you allow yourself to dream big. Um, yeah, this is saying like there were a lot of them are working together and we're all, a few of us are going to dream about each other's kids. We have Merlin and Arthur. So if Arthur or Merlin, Sword in the Stone's important to you. We have a little Dumbo elephant and a frog. Yeah, but this, this feels like a group of them coming in uh, communication with each other for dreams. Okay, let's get a message from Flynn. So we have shine out. Every day is a learning day that can make your life exciting. So they want you to wake up positive and then reflect on the rest of the day, like at night before you go to bed, like, okay, today was progress. Even even if you like were wearing the same hoodie for like three days in a row and didn't shower, um, if you rested that you needed, like you got the rest you needed, progress, right? I want you to look at it on a cellular level, not a to-do list, not a monetary uh, progression. I want you to look at it like my cell. If you're if you don't sleep, your sleep is when your cells turn over. It's when your body gets rid of your brain gets rid of things it doesn't need to remember anymore from the day, and it tries to save the good parts. And your cells are doing the division. I'm hearing fatigued. Don't fat don't fatigue yourself too much. Parade of flowers. Don't hold back. Life is like a colorful parade. <laughs> Come dance with the fairies. Hey, Fay Hive. See, this deck is amazing. I'm actually hearing the cha the the cha cha. So, the cha cha dance is important for somebody here. Cha cha, real slow. Yep. But parade of flowers. So this is saying life is like a colorful parade. Don't hold back. For those of you that have been wanting to experiment with color, even like in your house or with hair or makeup or clothes, they're saying do it. Don't don't hold back. My battery's dying. I gotta rub this up. All right, three more messages. Protecting angel, let me hold your hand so we can explore the day together. So they want you to start your day with gratitude and then say, hey, please send me messages and guide me throughout the day. 
your time to shine. The little creatures have been cheering you on all along. I'm telling you, some people here, woodland creatures are coming to you as a sign. Bottom of the deck, we have fly high. You can fly through the life when you're excited and deter determined. Nothing's gonna stop us now. We can build this dream together, standing tall forever. And if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still have each other. See, I love this because this also reminds me of P. Top Han. You know, I'm so, like, obsessed with Disney movies. They're there, okay? They just show up in all the cards. Just deal with it. All right. And so she looks like she's in her nighty, flying high. Beautiful, beautiful deck. I hope you love it. All right, guys, thank you for coming to my throne talk and for following along here with this long, long reading. Comment below if any of the signs are for you. If you're new around here and would like to join our community, our Fae Hive, and be a Fae Bay, hit the pink subscribe heart. Follow me on, um, oh, that's the wrong sign. This is my YouTube, yeah. Hit the subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Guess what it's called? fairy tales and cocktails all right and now if you are already a subscriber but you don't have your notifications on uh please hit the bell so that your phone tells you like guess what nilly noodles got a new video message for you and you got baby messages are gonna come to you so you should watch them when you have time that's what it tells you so you should do it all right Personal readings, only doing one a day right now because, as you can tell, I get winded. Uh, I think I have a link in my bio here. Pretty sure. My link tree. I only do, like, PayPal and Cash App at the moment. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, yeah. I love you more than ice cream, and I will see you real soon.